Okay, how you going guys? Welcome back to another gym vlog. Um, hopefully you guys have been doing well. I've been doing fairly good, I think. Uh, so I went to the gym and trained legs yesterday. I mentioned that I wasn't gonna film it, but I would give an update uh, on it. And uh, in all honesty, yeah, it, I trained a lot better. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I, the reason why I can train a lot better is just with upper body days, filming them, I, I'm pretty proud of what I have to present for upper body days. You know, I've got reasonable muscle, I've got reasonable strength, I'm not injured, I'm not looking like a pathetic little bitch, basically, you know? And then when I train legs, I guess, I know that maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys don't think like that, but I feel like I'm just presenting garbage. I feel like, um, I, and I know it's meant to all be a part of the process, but um, you know, like if my knee was good and I was actually pushing weights properly, then yeah, sure, it'd be a part of the process. I'd love for people to see a part of it, but it just feels, um, I don't know, it feels like it's ruining the vibe, if that makes sense. Um, and instead of me focusing on my actual uh, output and my session, I'm sitting there getting in my head thinking, you know, oh, I bet people think I look stupid. They probably don't understand how my knee feels, so they think I'm just being weak, all that kind of stuff. I end up getting in my head and thinking more about that than the input into my session uh, or the output of my energy. And that's the thing is that, you know, at the end of the day, my, my, my lower body is definitely something that needs a lot of attention in my honest opinion. In the off season, I'm definitely gonna do that, especially as I'll focus on trying to heal the knee, then grow the legs. Um, but while comp prep's happening, I'm trying to put all my energy on leg days into really keeping them there. So yesterday I did a shitload of isolates, um, which turned out really well. What I did first before all of that is actually I ironed out my legs. I, uh, I found a machine that had basically handles sticking off at the perfect level for me to put my legs on and into uh, and basically um, rolled them out with that. Uh, I got stuck into my hamstrings mainly, a, a little bit of my quads and calves, but my hamstrings mainly as I've got sneaky suspicions that it's kind of stemming from there roughly. Uh, and I released a whole bunch of shit, whole bunch that was shooting into my knee, so that's a good sign. And uh, I think it did help. Um, I then did laying hamstring curls uh, and then, uh, you know, got the hamstrings nice and warmed up and then jumped into the leg, uh, leg extension, which was going to be the moment of truth. Um, I did start off pretty light and do, did reps of 15, but I managed to do like seven, eight sets. Um, you know, and majority of those were working sets as they definitely push my knees, uh, my, my quads to their limit. Uh, and the last three or four, I added in a superset of uh, body weight Bulgarian split squats, uh, as I did in one of those other videos. And it was actually good because I was feeling it in my actual vastus head, my VMO, my lateral sweep, or vastus lateralis, like I was actually feeling it there. And not only that, I was getting good feedback because I could actually see veins starting to come up as they were getting pumped and, and swole, you know? Um, so, you know, I was able to really zone in and push hard on that session because I didn't have a camera in my face. I wasn't having to worry about other people around me. I wasn't worried about what was being recorded, all of that stuff. I just said, Matt, just go in there and do your best. I was there for quite a long time as well. If I was recording, I wouldn't have that much time because I've got to go home and edit and all that kind of stuff. So ultimately, um, excuse me a sec. Ultimately, it's one of those things where it's far better for me to, you know, put the camera away on a leg day. I know it sounds like I'm just trying to hide that, uh, hide legs, <laughs> but it's not that. I'm just trying to avoid um, distracting myself, basically, so I can get the best out of it. Upper body day is different, but even then, I still only want to record two to three times a week, max, um, just because uh, at this point in my prep, I'm getting pretty much like, uh, a little over it <laughs> uh, and I just want to focus on getting it done and then spend my day doing something I actually enjoy after work, after working out, after all of the uh, cardio in the morning, after all of that stuff. Okay, so uh, either way, that was a big ramble. It gives you an update on leg day anyway, um, just so you guys know I'm not skipping it or anything like that. Um, but with today, it is chest day. So chest day is a good day usually. I'm just gonna be chasing some really good activation and pump uh, for today. Um, definitely gonna do a pretty heavy press, most likely. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna go above, you know, 120, but 140 to play with would be nice as long as I'm getting enough reps. Um, but yeah, a lot of flies. I really wanna get the flies in there. So either way, um, yeah, that's, that's the plan today um, to head in and smash, 
smash some chesticles um, and hopefully get a solid pump. Okay guys, I'll see you there. And always remember to squeeze the juice. Okay guys, so done a bit of a warm up here at Silverbacks Bendigo, of course. So the warm up pretty much consisted of just um, a bit of pre-activation ex uh, exercises with a band just to get the rear muscles firing off, so the back muscles, specifically the rear delts, rhomboids, lats, and uh, you know, just about everything really. Like you really want the whole back to turn on and stabilize and stiffen up when you're gonna do bench press. If you want the strongest, most stable, low injury chanced bench press. So um, yeah, did empty bar, 60, 100. All felt pretty good. Um, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see how I go with the 140. Fingers crossed I can get 10, that's the aim. I know it's a bit ambitious to a degree, but I think we should be good. Um, I do feel all right. I feel like I might even get a good pump today for some reason. I did eat a whole bunch of grapes last night because I had a whole bunch of uh, carbs left over because I had less granola in the morning. So who knows, maybe the grapes filled me up a little bit. Surely not, but either way, see how we go. So yeah, we're gonna aim for 10. Fingers crossed we can get the whole 10. Let's do it. <clears throat> Only nine. I hit something on number eight. It's that fucking pin. Pisses me off. So those pins are so far out. Way too far out. I don't know. Maybe I can move them a bit. It's bloody annoying though, because when you hit a pin, especially at the bottom phase, it really offsets your strength and balance. Top phase, yeah, sure, it offsets you, but not as much, I don't think. Either way, nine. Nine's all right. I did feel like I'd struggle a little bit, so that's all good. I am looking at dropping my calories, you see. I'm at that point where I really should. I'm, I'm not upset at where I'm sitting when it comes to body fat, but I'm not happy either. It's one of those things where I feel like I, I could just hurry it up a little bit. I'm one of those people that like to be decently conditioned for a show, not just conditioned, so I could probably hurry it up. Okay, that's set one done, two more to go. Okay, set number two. Had a good little rest. Good little shim wag. See how we go. Happy with that, eight's good. If I can get another eight, perfect. Even if it's seven, it's fine, because that will average eight for the three reps, I says. Bit of a breather, let's do it again. Okay, set number three, let's gun for that eight. Seven minimum, eight is the goal.
do it. Oh, only seven, but I'm happy with that. That gives me an average of eight per three sets. Well, per set for the three sets. Okay, we're done with, we're done with this. Let's head on over to a fly. Seated pec decks to go. Let's do it. Okay, so now we're at the fly machine. Ultimately, just making sure we have great control, nice and strong. And do your best to keep on all the fibers in the chest. That means take your time, don't rush your movements. As soon as you start rushing your movements, you're gonna start letting go of fibers that are harder to turn on because they're not your go-to fibers per se. pretty good definitely good to go up from there though okay set number two let's do it I forgot I was filming. <laughs> that was a good set. Okay, I'm feeling that. That's for sure. Uno mas. One more. Okay, last set. Best set.
shit. I kicked my ass. Oh. Okay, that's it, done and dusted, guys. I feel like I had a fairly good session, I can't really tell. Sometimes it looks good in this little screen, but then it looks shit when I edit it. Either way, uh, session was good. Uh, only did two exercises, that's all I really felt like I needed slash wanted to do today. Uh, my shoulder's been feeling a bit ganky, just really sore right in the middle of the deep joint area. But uh, I still pressed on, got it, got what I needed done. So all in all, um, yeah, pretty good. Just two exercises. Uh, barbell bench press and the flies here on the pec deck. It's a really good machine. So yeah, um, all so far so good. I'm gonna have a rest day tomorrow and then a rest day again, a double rest day, uh, because I'm gonna have a rest day due to scheduling and then I've got my remedial, remedial and then I'll be back Saturday to train back. Okay guys, leave, I'm leaving you with that. Hopefully you had a good day and had a good training session if you trained. Um, you know, getting all swole, sweaty, sexy, shredded and otherwise. Stay tuned. And always, squeeze the juice. Okay, see you guys.